blow off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. <gasps> oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and he flew off. He is really looking for somebody to fight, isn't he? <gasps> At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and he flew off. At two o'clock, it met a... That's right, a gorilla. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. And I wonder if you could beat your chest like a gorilla. That's right. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird. And he flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Do you think you'd like to fight a rhinoceros? No, me neither. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird. And he flew off. What time are we up to now? Four o'clock. At four o'clock, it had encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Can you do that? Raise your trunk. Very good. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird. And he flew off. Oh, what's that? It's a whale, that's right. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer. Oh, you're not big enough anyway, said the bad-tempered ladybird. And he flew off. Do you think the whale is the biggest animal we've seen or the smallest one? Hmm, all right, the biggest. At 5.15, so quarter past five, the bad-tempered ladybird said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. Look how big that whale is. Takes up the whole page. At 5.30, or half past five, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? Guess what? Got no answer. So it flew on at quarter to six, or 5.45, we could say. The bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale, whale's tail, hey, you want to fight? And the whale's ta tail gave the bad-tempered ladybird such a slap that it flew all across the sea. Can you see it? All across the land. Can you see it flying over there? And at six o'clock, the ladybird arrived right back where it had started. Where did it start? That's right, on the leaf. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybird. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet tired and very hungry ladybird. Want to share them? It was kind that he offered to share them, wasn't it? Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybirds and they went to sleep. The fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. The end. I hope you like that story. What important message do you think it, it gave you? Is it good to be kind and good to share? Or is it good to go and pick a fight? What do you think? Discuss it with your grown-up. See you later.